work any here. I figured I might as well. I haven't uploaded many videos in a little while. So I was gearing up my Holy Paladin some more. And I figured, hey, I have this a win for Tolbered. It took 29 minutes. But hey, I got the whole thing on camera. So finally, I don't need honor points anymore. Honor points don't do anything to, well, it, it pretty much, I, uh, uh, I got my full ruthless set. Everything's ruthless except for my, one of my rings and one of, or my necklace. Those are both cataclysmic. Um, and I switched out the shield for a ruthless shield as well. But, alright, we went, I went to Ironclad Garrison first, sorry, I had hiccups. Um, I went to Ironclad Garrison first. I always know that the attacker always gets Ironclad Garrison, but I figure uh, a healer that doesn't really die that often will pose a good a good distraction for the most part. So it takes them longer to get to other places while more of my people get to those other other places. So I think I die around like in this area, but yeah. A lot of people die, technically. It's like, there's only so much a paladin can do. Um, yeah, I think right here is where I die. I just decided, fuck it, I'm gonna die anyways. But, I also thought of a better way to have my spells. Like, a better way to keybind them, sort of. To where I press the 1 through 9, or technically 1 through 0, keys on my keyboard. And it... Uh, casts my spells while I use the mouse to target. It's easier than clicking on f clicking for both of them, but I still want to raise Inaga eventually, though, when I can afford it. But all right, here we go. Where uh, I figured we're gonna go to. I'm thinking Warden Vi Warden's Vigil because oh uh, those flags. Um, I was thinking at this point Warden's Vigil is going. Might as well defend flags, and then we're gonna go to Ironclad Garrison and ninja that while they're trying to ninja flags, and then while they're nin trying to ninja flags, we also go for Warden's Vigil. So it's like, pretty much the way to win this is don't try to def really defend the base that they're all attacking. It's just pretty much try to ninja. It's a little. It sucks. It sucks for them, though, but. That's how you win if you're defending. But I think they end up getting all three powers down. And we still win. And I figured it was a nice... Like, since I haven't uploaded many videos in a while, it's a nice almost 30 minute video, so I might as well upload it. But I'm ready for... Arenas, pretty much. I need... Uh, that's all the only thing that can benefit my gear score and gear in general is my is arena points or conquest points which you can only get from winning battlegrounds which i am sick of battlegrounds because i've been doing battlegrounds non-stop for the longest time trying to get my gear so i can bring out better content like arenas like i'm looking for a guild for arenas because i i need conquest points i do Whew, sorry about that I need, or I want to get into Darren McTire one day, so I figure what you need 2200 rating in, in arenas, or the 2400 achievement. Hey, what better way to start out than to join a PvP guild with people who like to do arenas? Say I don't st say say there's just somebody that do does arenas all the time, and I'm like, hey man, I need points. Can we do arenas together? It's not like I'm, you're technically carrying me because I'm not really doing damage anyways. I'm just healing, but. I'm now at like 4550 resilience, which equals to 44.0% damage reduction, which is pretty intense, I gotta say. It's like, I remember when I had no gear, fresh 85, I was like getting blown up to shit. One rogue decided to get on me, and I would be done. I was like, what the fuck? Now, a rogue gets on me, I don't even get nearly half of my health taken. Like, it's just by the time his CCs are up, I'm still at like 75% health, and with one heal, I can get back to full health from there. 
And then if he sends me again, it's like I got every man for himself. But I don't have a Mac right now. Um, I kind of experimented. Oh my god, I'm tired. I'm sorry. But I experimented with macros, and the first macro I tried making worked, surprisingly. But I have Guardian of Ancient Kings, Divine Favor, Avenging Wrath, and the Unused Trinket all in one macro. So say I am in a sketchy situation where I don't know if my heals are going to be enough. I pop all those, and I literally, I've been healing 80,000, and that's pretty intense. So, I'm pretty excited about that. So, the only class that I absolutely hate, oh, well, there's two as a healer that I absolutely hate, Arcane Mages, because they tend to have your health go from, like, they just it just doesn't go down at all and then the other one is just priests because they're just like oh i'm gonna mana burn you mana burn mana burn mana burn i say i hate that it's like come on guys at least try to take me out with your skill not with getting me with no mana that's cheap i mean yeah it's kind of difficult to bring down a holy paladin but still if, if I didn't know what I was doing, it'd be quite easy to take me down. But, alright, so, I think all I do, I, I was a little pissed off at this point. So, I had no mana and I died, so I go back to Wooden Vigil with full mana. That's the only thing I like about dying in Battlegrounds, is like, you get full mana back. But, honestly, it takes about like four or five people to kill me. So, I'm pretty sure arenas would be pretty fucking fun unless of course they cc me to all hell which i have some cc breakage but you never know with arenas nowadays because every class is about seven cc's and they all last 20 minutes each um of course i'm exaggerating uh but not by much so all right here we go with procedures that doesn't end up doing all too much I think, I think we end up keeping flags. I'm not sure, though. Huh. But. Alright. Pretty much, in sketchy situations like this, where I need extra healing, just pop my cooldown. And, if I die then, then I was either A, about gonna die anyway, C, or B, CC'd, or 3, just, I don't know, was at low health to begin with and I didn't have a chance to heal myself. Like, I don't know. Some people think it's cheap that I use lay on hands in Battlegrounds on other players. Like, like a player like that, if he was dying like that rogue pretty fast, I would use lay on hands. It's not really cheap. It's more like I use... Yeah, I, I would say it's sort of cheap. It would be cheaper if I could use that whenever I wanted, but I don't. Or, well... I use it pretty much when I need it. It's like it's a spell. It's part of uh, being a paladin, so I might as well take advantage of it. I'm not gonna just be like, oh, because it's cheap, I'm not gonna use it. But all right, um, I don't remember if we really keep flags or not. Oh, and another thing, I'm thinking about recording some more. Uh, hunter footage because I have a level 69 hunter as well and I've been PvPing on him. I tend to die easy on him but I do a lot of damage but I tend or I usually either the top damage overall or the top horde damage period so I'm thinking hey um, I'm just probably going to record some of that sometime and then that could work out but I think we're losing, or we might lose flags, and as soon as we lose flags, we get Ironclad Garrison. Because I die right there. But, alas, I got full mana again once I resurrect. Yeah, th there we go, we're getting our CG. Um, and then I think we're going to hit Warden's, Warden's Vigil after. Yep, there we go. 
um, another thing. Oh, and I this made me really angry. I pressed escape to get rid of the map, and I accidentally missed. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to wake up more. I accidentally missed the resurrection the resurrection timer. It was a little terrible, but I still get resurrected. So, what would you say? Like, I want somebody to leave me in the comment description or in the comments if you would like to. Um, I have a couple of DPS level or like of other level eighty fives, but this is this one in my Lester Druid is my only geared one, and okay, I want to know which one would be the best DPS class. I have a hunter that's level sixty nine. A, uh, pretty much for PvP, like what would, what, what, which one would be the best for PvP, and be like, and like I could gear up probably pretty fast because healing's fun and all, but I still want to be able to do damage. So I got a 69 hunter that I plan on getting to 85. I have a level 85 death knight, level 85 another another 85 paladin, um, a level 85 mage. Mages are sort of difficult. I had him sort of PVE, but. I, I'd probably mm -hmm. gonna change him eventually, and it might be no. And I have a level eighty five rogue, but I also heard in Mists of Pandaria, rogues are gonna be nerfed to complete shit. So I was thinking about not using my rogue or gearing him up because he's gonna be pointless in uh, Mists of Pandaria. But I could be wrong. And there we go. I used my land hand right there only because. I felt it was sort of necessary. There was a person there that was gonna die, so I might as well use it and keep him alive. Pretty sure he appreciates it. Huh. So, pretty much, I, the only thing that I don't really like about Soul Baran is I usually like to see how much healing I'm doing. If I'm the best healer in the match, if I'm, if I'm the best alliance healer, if I'm getting there, like. Pretty much, I love knowing how how well of a healer I'm being. Like, I remember seeing when I first was geared, not really, not really making much of a difference. But now I'm usually either the top healer or within the top three, and I'm like making. Um, I've noticed in battlegrounds, I make like one healer makes a difference, and like I notice how I've been making a difference a lot lately, which I would say is pretty cool. I like make, being the reason why people win. I mean. I'm not saying I'm the reason people win because it's like all I can do is keep people alive. Other people still need to know exactly what to do at what times and where to fight. But I figure, hey, I, I, I'm I'm pretty sure I help them win. And sorry about that. I had a phone call from a private number that I don't wish to answer because that's just me. I'm antisocial. But. Alright, right here, it's sort of like, I don't really get much damage from rogues now anymore, especially now that I'm geared. Like, this is when I still needed, like, seven pieces of gear, and I finally got every single one of them. I am so happy. I didn't really, I didn't really record any of those, because I only got Alteric Valley, Twin Peaks, and that's it. Just over and over again, and I'm like, I'm not just going to bring the same battlegrounds over and over again. Um, I might have an alt. Oh uh, yeah, I think I have a a Rathi Basin. We lost it, but I was the top healer, which I thought was pretty cool. But I figure, I, I yeah, we lose battlegrounds. I usually only upload wins because I feel that's the most entertaining for anyone who views these videos. But I don't know. It's like if you're in a losing battle, or if you're losing, then you have a higher chance of being the best or the the highest uh, healer because you're probably your people are probably taking the most damage and you have to heal the most damage and then this rogue again trying to get on me and then this feral druid too oh no I think the feral druid is on my team still I don't know so we're I think still dominating um I think, yeah, for the rest of that 14 minutes, we pretty much just hold up, hold at least one of the bases and end up winning. And I get the victory in Total Barad Quest, which is pretty cool. Which bumped me up. 
I was I had almost enough points for my for my new belt. I was pumped because I was getting my new belt. And all of a sudden I come here to Tol Barad and get the victory quest and everything and then I got I had enough for the last most expensive piece of gear I needed, which was my helmet. Which was pretty cool. And that's when I got that. Um I plan on getting cataclysmic soon. I really want cataclysmic. Because it looks really boss and I want to do arena. And arenas are a lot less laggy for me and I'm pretty sure in battlegrounds if it takes about four, like five or six people to take me down then two or three people aren't going to do much to me like unless they have cc but then again i'm pretty good at getting out of cc or healing myself out of cc i got blessing of freedom i don't know i didn't really like oh there we go see see that's the reason why i die seven people attacking me but then again they just got warden's vigil we got slags again and then uh, now the rest is everyone's going to Ironclad Garrison. It's it's pretty much just running around in circles. That's it. The Horde's probably pissed off, but what well, it seems like in Battlegrounds on the server, Horde always wins. But it seems like in Tol Barad, Alliance wins most of the time. Oh, I forget where I go here. Yeah, I think I was gonna say something, but I'm like, nah, fuck it. Yeah, right here I go to Ironclad Garrison. But I think it's by the time I actually get there. Um, like, they already take it. And then there's a Rhett Paladin up there. Not very good. Well, probably semi-good semi, semi good gear. But something I've noticed is, because of the lag in my game, well, especially while I'm recording, if I lag while I'm on my mount and I'm next I'm running with other people, I'll fall behind them because my lag makes me slow down. It sucks. But one day I plan on getting a better computer when I can afford it. So, oh, there's that rogue again. That rogue always trying to attack me, always failing. But there we go. I pretty much get my heal up, get the fuck out of there, keep my people alive. Like, this is why I feel arenas would be a lot better, because, say I was in trouble with a bunch of these people attacking me, I could be like, hey guys, listen, this guy's attacking me, I'm gonna stun him, can you get him off of me? And I'll be like, okay. Um. Oh, I'm so tired, I don't understand why. But I'll probably like with the, with arenas. I'd be like, all right, we I have a microphone, you have a microphone. That's voice chat. So you're gonna it's like you'll be DPS, I'll be healing. You uh, uh, if you you call out your uh, what your pretty much your uh, targets, I'll heal you. Say say I have somebody on me, then I'll be like, hey, listen, this guy needs to die, or get him at least off of me, please, and then. That's communication. That's the key. Or I've only done arenas on my druid, but I, I didn't even use voice or like Skype or anything for that. Cause and that's what I realized was my downfall. At the time, uh, at the time, I quit WoW for Star Wars: The Old Republic just because of the just because I didn't like arenas. But it turns out. It was actually not even my fault. It was just, I mean, it was just I didn't, I didn't really have a good arena partner. Like, warrior. Pretty much what would happen was I was a rest of druid, and we were going against a, um, two frost mages. We got one of the frost mages down, and then we were going for a second frost mage. Except he was pretty much making it so we couldn't attack him. He was always just far away from us. He, it was, it was a living nightmare. But I figured out a warrior isn't very good for that. So, that, uh, that mage was trying to kill me. It was failing. And now I got teammates. Hopefully. Yeah. I think he just kind of booked it now. But. Oh. Here we go again. I'm getting the hang of this. Um. We have two out of three buildings, or they are two buildings captured now. Um, 
yeah, I, I pretty much, if somebody continues to try to attack me, and it's making me mad because they're failing, and they're fu- like, that's what makes me mad. Actually being a healer, getting followed the entire match, the, the whole thing, trying to get killed the whole time, them failing, me being chased, or like, actually having them go through the entire match. And they still try the whole time. It's like, dude, I'm trying to heal my fucking teammate. What do you gain out of trying to kill me and failing for about an hour? Nothing. It's like, besides distracting me. But then again, I'm going to go, um, even though I'm running throughout the entire map, I'm going to go to where my teammates are. So they can kick your ass while I'm healing them. And I'm pretty mana conserving. But... Alright, there we get sapped. Not, yeah, I don't think the rogue pops out. He just sapped me, and I was like, wow, what a douche. I think rogue got retarded for having that move, because it's like, oh, I'm going to sap you, and then I'm just going to... It's just... I think it's irrelevant. It's just... Oh, you're stunned. What are you going to do now? Just sit there. It's like, oh, thanks, asshole. But, alright. We're going to slag get that I think we end up getting it because there's not even that many people here because they're all going to ICG um yeah this match was actually fairly fairly good <sighs> it just took a little while mostly because well we were defending flag but I don't know I, I, I thought it was a good match I was I was actually really happy when it ended because I was like finally we won But there's most of my cooldowns popped. Uh, what I like about Guardian and Rachel King. Oh my god. I I apologize. I'm, I didn't didn't mean to. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing this video as soon as I woke up like I did. But um, Guardian and Rachel King makes it so I heal one person. It heals like four other people around me for I think half of the heal that I healed them for. So, if I'm trying to keep a bunch of people up, it's like, it, it keeps them up, it doesn't heal them, it probably doesn't give them massively uber heals like this, like I normally do, but it at least gives them a heal to keep them up so I can get those massively uber heals on them. Like my macro is just spelled U-B-A-H, uber, because it's uber, and it makes me go from, I think my highest heal without buffs was about like 50, 57k. Um, with it, it's like 76 to 80k. So, it's like, it's not, it, that's, that's like a critical hit. Like, my divine light normally is like a 26k. But I'm talking about crits. And like, only ones I've seen. Like, eventually, I hope when I get cataclysmic armor, I hope that I get like 100k heals. Like, that would be cool. Like, I don't know if that's possible. But hey, it's something to try to work towards. Like, what I'm trying to work towards is, uh, I'm, I heard Bajira's army is a pretty good guild, like, fourth best PvP guild on the server, and I, I'm, I, I feel terrible for admitting this, like, I, I, or I want to join it so I can get some really good gear, and I want to make friends, like, but my whole, my whole point is, like, I want to eventually join Derrimac Tire still, and it's like, I'm still gonna be... Like, if I make friends in Bajira's army, don't don't get me wrong, I'm gonna still be their friend. It's just, I don't know, Darren McTire seems like the best way to get, um, pretty much to get noticed. And I figure they use a lot of, um, they use a lot of, uh, dubstep or, and stuff in their videos. So, if I join them, and I'm actually good, and they like me, and then I tell them that I also make music that I'd be willing to cross promote with them with like if they if they tell everyone or if they tell people that I made that made that music I would let them use it music in their videos I would be more than happy to and then I'd probably get noticed uh, easier I'm pretty sure I won't like get famous that's not even what I'm looking for like yeah trust me it would mean a lot to get like as many views as Swifty or as like Yogscast even like I doubt that'll ever happen but it would be amazing mostly because then I would be more motivated to bring out more videos 
but also because then I'd be able to be getting in money to get a better computer to for better uh, quality gaming, a better like microphone, um, like a Razer Naga. It's like I wouldn't. I'm not greedy. I wouldn't like if I got money from all this. I wouldn't spend it on myself. Well, technically I would be, but I would be spending it on stuff that would bring the content that you guys love, or pretty much more content to viewers, and better content to it, so, I don't know, I, I try not to be greedy, but here's me trying to share the victory quest more, um, just in case, because I know a lot of people get, even though they are, yeah, see that guy, share victory please, I just did, if, and then he's gonna spam it, share victory, share victory, thank you, I did, Shut the fuck up. I'm not trying to be <laughs> not trying to be an ass. But I think I end up dying here at IC ICG because it's super well defended. So we go, I think, for Warden's Vigil? Oh no, Swag. I think I end up booking it here because that's my thing. If I sense that it's I'm in a sketchy situation, I can usually book it. And people Sometimes you get the occasional 12 year old following me throughout the entire map, but sometimes they're just like, oh, he, there's no chance of me killing him, especially be, just with being a single person, so I guess I can just, well, I can just leave and let him go. So, still, mages, mana burn, just to be taken out of the game. Just saying. No, no, no. No, no, not mages, priests. In my opinion, priests, sh mana burn, should be taken out of the game, or give more classes a mana burn spell, like a paladin, so I can do it back to them. That would be a little more fair. So. Alright, going back to Warden's Vigil. I think you get to see the helmet that I had before I got the Ruthless Helmet in a minute. Um, I think I end up opening my character tab for that. But, alright. We almost got this one. Uh, so, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna wrap up the, vo the voice recording now. This has been Danny here. If you like this, please leave a like. Um, subscribe to my channel, favorite it, and comment on the video, please. And it would mean a lot to me. And if anyone wants to do arenas with me, and is, would be decent at it, just, uh, just definitely, like, whisper me in-game, whisper me on, or just message me on YouTube, anything. Like, I'd, I'd be more than happy to. But, alright. This is Danny here. See you all shortly.